you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. To begin the problem, we can draw a simple picture that represents the information being described. So here we have a circular oil spill and we have shown these arrows pointing outward to indicate that the oil is actually spreading and getting larger as time goes on. And in fact, the question notes specifically that the area is increasing at a constant rate of six meters squared per hour. Now, because that is a rate, we can actually write that as a d variable dt. In this case, the variable is the area. So we can write da dt as long as we know that a represents the area of the circle. And that is equal to positive six meters squared per hour. And then we turn to the question which asks how fast is the radius of the spill increasing when the area is 9 meters squared. When the question asks how fast is the radius increasing, what it's really asking is for dr dt. And so we need to come up with an equation that has r in it, and the most obvious choice would be the area of a circle. We know that the area of a circle is equal to pi times radius squared. And what we can do is take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to time. When we take the derivative of area with respect to time, it becomes dA dt. On the right side, we're going to have to use a power rule and technically also a chain rule. So we pull the 2 down in front to make 2 pi r. We subtract 1 from the exponent, so this becomes r to the first. But then we have to multiply by the derivative of the variable with respect to time. In other words, dr dt. And that's sort of nice because this equation contains the very quantity that we are trying to obtain. So in fact, we could divide both sides of this equation by 2 pi r. And then we can see that dr dt is equal to da dt divided by 2 pi r. We've already noted that dA dt is equal to 6 meters squared per hour, so that quantity is known. What we don't have is the radius. And to figure the radius out, we can go back to this piece of information, which tells us that the area is 9 meters squared. Well, once again, the area of a circle is equal to pi times its radius squared. If the area is 9, we can plug that into the formula. And then we can solve for the radius by dividing by pi and then taking the square root. So here we have the radius. We can take that radius and plug it in to the equation we had developed for dr dt. And then we can also plug the 6 in for dA dt. Now we've indicated in red the units of the quantities, and we can see that we have a meters squared in the numerator and then a meters in the denominator. That was the unit of the radius. We can cancel a factor of meter in the denominator as well as the numerator. So the unit that remains standing is the meters per hour. Then we can pick up our calculators and figure out what this quantity actually is. And when we do so, we can see that dr dt is approximately 0.564. And again, the unit that remains is meters per hour. So this would be the correct answer to the question. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. You can send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I will do my best to post an answer to it on YouTube.